Hi everybody! We have a fun, silly art project for Christmas for you to try out. You're going to learn how to make a reindeer puppet that has a very big mouth. So to get started on this, you will need one sheet of white paper. You're going to need a pencil, a black marker, and some crayons. And that's about it. So we're going to fold our paper in half first. We're going to go short side to short side. So take the top of your paper, match up the corners. and then crease it. Alright, next you're going to take the paper and you're going to fold it again. So this is the open side. I'm going to fold it all the way up to the folded edge. I'm going to bend it all the way up to the folded edge. Match up the corners again and then give it a fold. Now I'm going to turn it over and do that whole thing again. So this is my open side. I'm going to bend it all the way up to the fold, match up the corners, and then crease it. If it looks like a letter M from the side, You've got it right. Now you're going to take one of those ends and you're going to unfold it. So if you look at it from the side, I still got most of my letter M, but I've just unfolded one side so that it's sticking down. So the trick to making this funny reindeer is making sure that the top half of the reindeer's head is on the top half of the paper and the mouth down is on the bottom half of the paper. So I'm going to start right in the middle and I'm going to start by making just an oval for the reindeer's nose. Pretty close to that fold line but just an oval. Just above that, I'm going to make the eyes. So I'm going to start out with just a little dashed line. Let's see, maybe scoot over. There we go. You can make any kind of eyes that you want, by, but by starting out with a line, I can get them pretty even. I'm just going to do a curve. And again, you can do any kind of eyes that you want. Make them as fancy or as plain as you like, too. Some little highlights. Maybe a little highlight on the nose right there. Okay, so I have... Um, almost all of my reindeer's head and I'm gonna just make like a frame around his face just a little curve a little candy cane curve on each side now I need to have half of his mouth on the top half of the paper and I'm gonna have the bottom half of the mouth on the bottom half of the paper and again, you can get as fancy as you like with the mouth. To finish off his head, I'm going to give him some ears. You can do the shape of ears that you want. And then some antlers. For the antlers, I am going to start off with some number 11 decide what the shape of my antlers are going to be. Maybe just some upside down letter U to finish them off. I'm 
Okay, now I need to close up my reindeer's face. And I'm down here below that center fold line. And I think I am going to have a collar on my reindeer, like it's Santa's reindeer. You can just have a wild reindeer too if you like. So when I bring these outside lines down, I'm going to close them up with a curve. If you're doing a collar, I'm going to come in halfway on each side. And I'm leaving room for a jingle bell. Oh, that circle was terrible. Try again. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Now if you wanted to have the little hooves up here, you certainly could. Maybe I'll do one hoof up this time. So I'm just going to bring a line up and I can even go past that fold line. If I do that, it'll be really funny. Decide how thick you want the arm to be. There we go. And then I'm just going to bring the body right down off the bottom of the paper. In my example over here, I had the hooves coming forward and I did that with just a U shape. So I'll do a hoof coming forward on this one. So I'm gonna start out with just a upside down letter U. Close it up and a W. That's it. Now we're going to open up our paper to finish the big mouth portion of this. And we have this big empty area here. The first thing I have to do is I have to reconnect the head to the bottom of the mouth. And I'm going to reconnect all of my lines. So there's the inside. Now for the mouth. I am going to make a curve out on each side. That way I'll have plenty of room for a big mouth. Reconnect these ones over here. And don't forget about your hoof also. That arm just got really, really long and silly. Now for the teeth, I like to do nice big teeth. So I'm going to start right in the middle and you can make the type of teeth that you want. But I'm just going to do some squared off letter U. I could just leave it like that, or I can add a tooth on each side. Pretty easy, huh? You know that hangy ball thing in your throat? It's called a uvula, and I'm going to put one of those for a throat. So I've done my letter U, or almost a circle here. And I'm going to go around it with a big letter C. And now I need some bottom teeth. One of the things that you want to do when you're making your bottom teeth is you want to make sure you are above that fold line that you just made. Your mouth might be right below it, but you want to keep your teeth just above that fold line. So you're going to see I stop my lines just a little bit short. There we go. All right, if you want to put a tongue in your reindeer, you certainly can. Let's see if we can get this whole thing in here. He is looking pretty good and very silly. And I want you to think of something that your reindeer would eat. I know uh, when we leave cookies out, 
we always leave carrots out too for the reindeer. So I'm going to draw a carrot over here flying in at the side. I'm going to have to do just a bit of erasing because I drew it really big. I'll even put like the green part on the carrot. So I've overlapped the side of the face. I just have to do a little bit of erasing. Think of something that you want your reindeer to eat. Maybe your reindeer eats pancakes or peppermints. Whatever you want to have. Once you have your reindeer drawn, pause the video and outline with your black sharpie. And make sure that you put a paper underneath your paper as you're outlining because it will go through the paper and get on your table. After you've finished outlining and erasing, I do want you to try some highlighting and shading on this project. Even though it's a fun, silly project, we always want to push ourselves to do our best art and to learn a little with each project. So I'm going to show you how to shade the carrot here using simple highlights and shadow. So I'm going to start in the middle with the highlight. I'm just going to put some white on here. And I know you can't see it yet, but you will when I blend the orange into it. I have a scarlet or red orange that I'm going to put around the edge. So I colored kind of hard. And now I'm pressing very lightly. And that's going to allow me to blend with the orange. <clears throat> so when I use my orange, I'm coloring right over top of that scarlet or red orange and blending with it. And as I go towards the middle, I'm going to start to blend with the white that I put on the middle. And that's going to look make it look like the middle is closer to us because it's lighter. And the edges are a little further away because they're darker. So a very simple way to blend. You can do this throughout your uh, reindeer puppet. You can have dark areas. And light areas. And blend in between. Give it a try. I think you'll really like the results. Even try it on your reindeer's fur.
as you finish up with your reindeer, your big mouth reindeer here, kind of look it over, make sure you've colored everything. And then you're going to fold it back up. And you can put your hands behind it to create your own puppet. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. How fun is that? I hope you had a good time making your reindeer puppet. Have a very happy holiday. And don't forget to take a picture of your big mouth puppet, click on the turn in slide and follow the directions to turn it in.